Hi, I'm Alicia Montgomery. This spring I'll be teaching Urban Studies 168, Race, Nature, and the City. The geographic focus spans the Americas. On August 6, 2012, a fire exploded here in Richmond, the Chevron Petroleum Refinery, endangering nearby African American, Mexican American, and Asian American communities. Engineers explained the disaster in terms of a faulty pipe and bad procedures. Technical studies are essential for evaluating the safety of the infrastructure that powers our cities, but we need interdisciplinary approaches to explain how and why some racialized communities are more at risk than others from hazards. How does power in the sociological sense explain environmental crises? To address this question in this course, we're going to begin by exploring the historical rise of the deadly mining towns of Potosí and Zacatecas, which poisoned the land and indigenous laborers with mercury and lead, and the slave ports of Rio de Janeiro and Charleston, which devastated habitats and African people as plantations replaced forests. How and why did the exploitation of nature and the making of race merge? Next, we're going to examine the extent to which race matters today. How do race, class, age, sexuality, and nation combine to influence environmental risk? Finally, we're going to examine the green visions of planners and activists. How do green strategies in the global north impact the land and people of the global south? For example, the impacts of lithium mining in the Andes to power electric cars in North America and Europe. Miles from Richmond, nature lovers seek to preserve the beautiful beaches of San Mateo County. Activists argue that preserving Bay Area habitats requires transforming social relations because degradations in racially stigmatized places in the global north and south impact other areas. As we re-engineer cities, what should power in all senses of the term be made to mean? How can we use our power to bring about and sustain the beauty that we want to see and feel in the world? I look forward to exploring these questions and teaching and learning with and from you.